want that. Not really. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking. I mean, about that people. is. It's better. It's better to OD in a hospital that literally. It's better to not OD no at all. Shit. No shit. Than... Because it's better to not OD at all. Simple yeah. as. Just okay. don't OD. Yeah. Oh, no. like, just don't take it in the first the, place. Just fast off your sword. Stab yourself in a hospital or underneath a train. That's literally the same logic. Obviously, you'd want to do it in a hospital. This is so fucked up. <sighs> All I'm saying is there are more overdose deaths, okay? Here yeah, in America. And that's because okay. Of okay, and it's upsetting that even a pill of Oxycontin would actually cause an overdose because of the amount that they've taken, and they don't know what amount it is, okay? Yeah, but it was their choice to get addicted in the first place. Yeah, but what if it's their first time, dude? Well, then that's still, still their choice. Yeah, it's not, their choice. There's no free ambulance. There's no Yeah, but that's their treatment. choice. Wait, the wait, risk of drugs say... are always there. No matter when is did your you... first time, it's did your 50th you... time. The risk of drugs is still wait, there. Did you just say that? But oh. would you rather? But would you rather have an like a OD in a hospital? I wouldn't. I wouldn't then OD. Then a back that's out. No, okay, this, no, the point is, I would let, not OD. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me ask, overdose. let me ask you something. That is you the just, choice. You just said the ambulance isn't free. How the fuck do you think? Like, no, but crazy, dude, that's, that's not even like. The, like no, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Would you rather OD in a hospital or behind an alley? Like, you wouldn't OD it, because you, 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 you either choose to do the drugs okay. or you don't choose to do the drugs. little clinics. Not one person would die from overdosing because they know what they're putting in the person. You it's know anyway. You know anyway. Everyone knows. You the learn it. The person who's addicted, you, it's the you trust learn it in the health. person But to addicted. get addicted, you have to be doing it, which is your choice. Yes. You don't just be born addicted to something. Yeah, okay. Actually, unless, you can be the, born unless the parents were taking it in the first place. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Well, that's that, 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 yeah. yeah, but that's that a different story. That was a bit of a gray that's, that's area a, you just said. A, Okay, yeah, but one, you didn't come up with that point, someone else did. Two, I never disagreed with that. And three, your three. logic is still flawed. And let me let me ask you this. So you say that ambulances aren't free, but what do you what about the shit that saves the people from ODing on the scene? You know how much that shit costs to make? And they're giving it out for fucking free. Think about that for a goddamn minute. Two thousand five hundred dollars an ambulance. That's for the whole thing. No, yeah. no, yes. that's not how that works. They. Yikes! I'm telling you, Yikes. that's not how that works. Yikes! The, the reason you literally call the police, you say someone's ODing on drugs, it's not going to cost you anything. It's the bills from the hospital that are going to cost you something, not the ambulance itself. About that, I am 100% sure. Are you an EMT? <laughs> oh, how do, uh, are you? Are you that... an EMT? <laughs> yeah, are you I an EMT? EMTs, yeah. Oh, you okay. Up? Wait, you oh. what? Were you an EMT? Is the question. What did, what did you say? <laughs> yes or no? Just because your I friends are EMT. EMT. Okay, the then you oh, can't use that as an EMT. excuse. You can't use that as an argument. Yeah. Yeah. It's hypocritical. Even my uncle is an EMT, but you know, that doesn't matter apparently, because apparently- God! Yeah, but... well, my uncle's an engineer, that doesn't make me an engineer. But not yeah. Okay. yeah, my, my, my family- My granddad's my a medic, family... that doesn't make me a medic. Yeah, like, my, my family- My a teacher, that doesn't make me a teacher. My uncle yeah, could have like... been Bin Laden, I'm not a terrorist. <laughs> 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 Like, yeah, like, just because you know people that are EMTs doesn't mean that you're an EMT. Oh my god, help me! This is so cringe. And trust, and I also, oh I also have god. to ask you this. If, if it costs people for people to get ambulances, then why would they call for help when they need it? Why would they call- why would people call for help if other people need it? Like, I had to call the police for an ambulance because somebody was in a car crash. Did that cost me anything? No. Because they're doing it for people to save the people. Why would it cost money to send people to save people? Nice, right?
Okay, you want you want to go that way? You you want to yes, you want to go that way? It doesn't cost money to call the ambulance. Really? Unless you're talking about phone charges. Besides that, it doesn't cost it doesn't cost money for you to call the police to get an ambulance sent over. To you. Well, it won't cost you anything because you'll be dead. Oh, 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 yeah. It'll be too late. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um. Okay. If you're dead, then why would you need an ambulance in the first place? <laughs> they were literally carrying out with the body bag. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's, so that's what they is do. it better? Is it better to die in an alley and then? have an ambulance pick up your dead body or go into a clinic that literally gives you the same services as an EMT would, but they're right, up, like, three feet yeah, but, away from you. So you're if suggesting you're Sunday it's school your, for weeks. It's your choice to do those things and in if you're or not. Where you're gonna die, how would you walk yourself into a clinic? Yeah. yeah. So if people keep saying that ambulance is free in America, it is. Okay, can I bring a new point of view? Mm -hmm. So yes, an ambulance, please, please, please. Can I? Can I? Do anything? Just, just yeah. speak it, my, okay. Yeah, so. Okay. So how many miles does it? Oh, oh, I want to wait. Come to me. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Hey, that these people, you, well, people would rather die in a clinic or OD in a clinic where they can be helped on the scene. However. If you're going to a clinic, you're going there to be taken off. A lot of people don't want to be taken off these drugs because they're addicted, as you say. So why in the hell would they go to a clinic if they can just take their drugs and be happy and not get told to stop? How they can, or they why can do that. would they go? Why would they go? To, yeah. So why are you now saying that would you prefer because to OD in a clinic or not? Because if they want to, if they want to get off these, they they'll go to a to clinic. OD. If they don't, then they won't. If they want to use this drug so much, they might as well have the help that they need to survive. No, if they want to no. use okay. this drug so much, no. they should not if be getting they, the help because they they're the ones who do this, this in to an alleyway. Yeah. yeah, listen. No, if, yeah, that's why AA meetings. That group. means they don't even trust free drugs by clinic to they don't use trust the drugs. People who are medical yeah. professionals, they don't even trust the people around them, and they don't even trust the police. They shouldn't be using the drugs in the first place. They should yeah. be then helped to get the drugs even more. If they're going and to the also, clinic, they should be getting taken off the drugs. If they keep doing this, they will keep realizing that, okay, I think I need to start making a change. Well, if they... But in America, they just cut the supply off completely. Whereas in real, like, really, like, detoxing everything is wean it off bit by bit. Okay? That is, that is, how, that is how you get people off of drugs like Dilaudid okay you literally have to put in less amount that sounds like more. okay in the end yeah. it is the person's choice but yeah. remember there is an option mm. for you to come to that clinic that's yeah. that's why they go choice. to the clinic to get off exactly yeah. their choice they to get off they go to the clinic so they can get off and, and to I know that you are safe here and I also have to say your something. decision is not wrong. We <laughs> understand. Well, it's not. It's not your decision. To, if you keep saying if they're making that the decision to take more drugs, choice. I'm not saying addiction please. is a choice. I'm saying they're choosing to get into something. So, so can I can I yeah. put something out there? So my mom, she's addicted to. So nothing. the opioid epidemic. Oh, oh, Jesus. Is is nothing, right? You say, oh, we just choose it. And the opioid place is not doing anything about it. They're just selling a little small lollipop for for them to like save someone's life. But that's something life, completely you know, different. Supplying everything. You that's have a completely to go to the different thing. No, that's it's a completely not. It is different thing. If there is a huge supply, so and, you're saying because they didn't they choose to get on it because it's been prescribed to them. Yeah. Okay. And so, the people say, "Oh, I feel good." But right. then the doctors overprescribed something. Yeah, but that's right. them being prescribed. That now yeah. their responsibility. No, to get because you know that's what a different happens story. if you're overprescribed. Can, can, I, can, I, can I say something about your whole like, oh, 
if you're gonna take multiple drugs, give them a little piece, give them a little, little bit of it a at a time to, to, to make it easier. I can tell you right now that does not work. When when my mother was I mean, trying to I quit guess, smoking, I guess creating more jobs in clinical profession is nothing. I'm t um, I'm telling you, when my mother tried to quit smoking, she she did it. She tried doing less amounts of it. It doesn't fucking help. It's better if you stop doing it in all, and then not, and then it just it doesn't happen. But if you do small amounts of it, you're still like, oh, maybe I should do more of it. Maybe I should do more of it. And then you end up doing more, and then you're back in the same fucking situation as you were before when you're doing fucking needles and needles of drugs. Yikes, 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 yikes. <laughs> Are you done now? Yes. Good. <laughs> Don't worry. I know everything about the smoking stuff either. They made it legal. They made it a stress relief thing. Even though it's not, it's for car and rat poison and all that bullshit because... Why would you even do this in the first place? Because I want my Okay, question. we got it. Why would you do the drugs so, in the first place? If, Why would you do drugs in the first place? It's your choice to not that, do that. That's a very good question. It's what? Would you do it in the first place? So I guess in if you're in an environment that will make you go <laughs> into it, so Bless you. you will literally <laughs> either Walk away from uh, it or not? Okay. Yeah, that's your choice. I, I go to I, I go to parties on a regular basis, right? And really? on a regular basis, I get offered, "Oh, do you want to bun a zoo with me? Oh, do you want to go smoke some weed? Do you want to have a cigarette?" And I say, "No, no. why? Because I, I don't want to do bag. it." Hmm? Or is that what? a big cigarette? No, it's, it's weed. Weed. Okay, but you just said cigarette, and I was like, "Wait, I was waiting no, for the word for that." No, zoo. You said zoo. And she said weed and the cigarette. She's she's getting offered all of them. I get offered no. I get offered cocaine sometimes mm -hmm. as well, and I say no because I don't want to. I'm in an environment that is pressuring. I'm getting peer pressure to do it. I'm saying, oh, just come on, come on, just do yes. it, just do it. It's fine. But no, because I yes. don't want to do it. Simple as. People I don't want to take part, so I don't take part. People are proud to deny it, but there are some people who literally get pressured to do it, and they. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's just the culture that's problem. You're trying to change the whole sorry, culture. But you can't do not. that. You can't change a whole culture it like that. It is all about, look, if a person is addicted, and you well, keep to get saying, addicted, you need to do off, it in the first off, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, no, but to be addicted, you need to do it in the first place. You, you, you need to have done it first. Yes. It's a culture yes. problem. It's true. It's like, true. I can't, can't get addicted to nicotine been, if I haven't done nicotine true. in the first place. Yeah. It's true, but I'm talking about people who are currently addicted. Not yeah. people who started to get addicted. It's people Everybody started are. to get addicted at one point. <laughs> yeah. And listen, and just because you're addicted, you need that, like, your body functions off of that once you're addicted. Just like with sugar. Once you've taken sugar, you're instantly addicted, and then your body needs more of it. Which then you start craving more, and then when you don't get enough of it, you start withdrawing. It's a fun time. So, Sucking. you're talking about being addicted. Yes, people are addicted. Okay, cool. But they need to start somewhere. It's literally their choice when they but start. Guess, it's not fun. But I guess the choice of a 15-year-old girl's snorting cocaine is their choice. It is their choice. Yeah. Like their choice. It is their choice. Have, you need to put your nose down. Yeah, it, is the, it is their choice. They're, they're, not, they're, not, their friends, they're not forced they to do the need. They have the need to be liked. I'm they sorry, but no one has the need to do drugs. Nobody needs to be. There are people here who are 17 years old, only two years old. The situation. At 15, I was being offered okay. drugs. What did I say? No. No. What did most That's of my friends good. say? No. That's no. good, but there are other people besides you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm so just using myself as an example. Thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying that 15 year old girls are smart enough to be making no. their decisions. Ten-year-olds, no, ten-year-olds can be convicted and sent to prison. Okay. Ten-year-olds can be legally. Hold accountable. Yeah. Surely a fifteen-year-old can say no to some drugs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, you can say no in England or in the UK, but here in America, they do everything. No, 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 no. Shut problem. your, shut that's your, that's your mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. If, if I live in New York, okay, I live in New York. If I can say no at the age of twelve and thirteen, then she can say no at the age of fucking fifteen. Okay, again, that's you. 
You are yeah. making yourself and that's an them. example again. Yeah, you're them. making it one person there are an example. Only people yeah. who don't. Okay? Like yeah, people, and you can't use them as a specific in like, example either. In like Honduras. They be, they be use... breathing all that industrial blue. What the fuck like are you on about now? That's blue. literally, yeah. that's literally something back. completely we different. Then they we went from... No. <laughs> what no. the f- I joined. We were talking okay, about obesity. So... Then we went to drugs. Now we're talking about factories? What the fuck are you on? We're not talking about factories. We're talking about people who are addicted. <laughs> yeah. You just said breathing in the toxic fumes in Honduras. That is to do with factory. <laughs> Oh That's something God. completely fucking different. Dude, I'm talking on? about toxic blue. I told blue. you. I warned you. Yeah, that's something com- you did. But it's toxic I'm... blue, and they just put it in a plastic bag and they breathe it in. <laughs> and they're only 13 mm-hmm. years old. Mm-hmm. And where does that the come from? The fumes literally yeah. just where stops does... their brain where does from that working. Come from? Please, please, please. And they please, please. keep breathing it in. No, uh, where no, does that come it... from? I really don't know. So then, what the fuck? Oh my. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is there should be a facility for people who are addicted. There is. That is the facility for people who are addicted. Okay? If people are not safe. No, 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 no. no. If Stay we away. don't care, we don't take care of people. If How people are we don't want to take care, care of themselves, own... that's on them. to listen, them listen. as well. Listen. No, if people don't want to take care of themselves, that's on Why them. should... Yeah, exactly. If people don't want to take care of themselves, why should there then be don't such take a huge, huge, huge no, no. expectation? No, don't take... Wait, 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 don't... No, 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 no. no. Listen, you, you listen to this. So, you know those facilities that you say... you on an inhaler? Well, here in America, you actually have to pay like $300 for... $600 for two EpiPens. Mm-hmm. So shut the fuck okay, up. Okay, so we're not talking